An early morning fire in a metro apartment complex has nearly 20 people without a place to call home. We first brought you the story as breaking news just before 5 o'clock this morning. Now, News 9's Brittany Tulis has learned what firefighters believe caused the blaze. Firefighters say flames could be seen jetting out of the building's roof. And with the high winds and fast spreading fire, it's lucky no one got hurt since the first apartment to catch fire didn't have a working smoke alarm. Uh, I just heard a whole bunch of yelling, like, get out, get out, get out. Joshua Leonard and others jolted awake as flames and smoke consumed the Heritage House 2 apartments early Wednesday morning. Then I look out and I see these big old flames sitting up there on top of the building. Residents already started evacuating before firefighters got there, crews jumping in to help when they pulled up, but the fire kept growing. The fire was still developing, though, and once it broke through the roof, uh, the decision was made at that point. Let's get them back outside. When you have an open gable on one end of a building, if there is a strong wind, depending on which way it's blowing, it, it can cause the fire to spread even more. No residents were injured. A firefighter was hurt when he was hit by a hose line, but EMSA checked them out and they rejoined their crew. 19 people are displaced from the six apartments involved in the fire. Firefighters also rescued a dog, two cats, and four snakes. We're not obviously trained to, to handle some of these pets. Oftentimes they're in a cage or in some type of an enclosure, and we typically remove those in that enclosure. Investigators believe the cause was electrical and say this is a good reminder for landlords and tenants alike to check smoke alarms. Now you think about this particular fire, it happened at 4.30 in the morning. This is when people are asleep, and a lot of times it's up to the person who is living there, the tenant, to maintain those. The apartment complex has moved those 19 people into other units on the property. In Northwest Oklahoma City, Brittany Tulis, Oklahoma's own News 9.